So today I'm gonna be making like an Asian, you wanna hold, excuse me? It's just cut you looking at my butt. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna hold it uh, for me? Yes, hold yes. it like that, don't put it too down because I'm a brawn. Okay, so. Let me see. <laughs> so, um, today I'm gonna be making um, an Asian inspired no, meal. I'm just gonna get your forehead. What? I'm gonna just get you from your mouth up now. From my mouth up? I'm okay. paranoid. Or from my eyes up. Yeah. <laughs> your nose. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I'm making Asian today. I'm gonna be making the hot, spicy noodle, but this is not the challenge. I love these motherfuckers. Like, after the challenge, I did two challenge. I did I do three challenges? I don't know, but I'll do another challenge. I love these motherfuckers. They're good. I really do like them. Like with um, I put cheese on them and all that shit. But I'm gonna be making two of them. And I got these. I never tried them before, but I got them because they seemed like it had like an egg right there with all this shit, and it looked good. I'm like, hey, that looks bomb. If it goes with egg and tomato, I'm getting these. So I'm gonna pretty much make like an Asian spread and so also some spring rolls. So that's what I'm doing right now, just to show you what I'm doing and how I'm preparing it right, right before I start the video. So yeah. So I have this shrimp right here that I just cooked and I washed, and I washed my lettuce for my spring rolls. <laughs> uh, what's up up all my chunky monkeys and chunky junkies I'm so excited and I'm so hungry and I'm trying to like get this food in my mouth as quick as possible but today I have for you these are the hot noodles the hot like spicy challenge noodles that they use in the spicy challenge noodle thing I have that for you right here and then I have some other noodles here I'm gonna be show I already have showed it to you already what it is before this gets started so that's what it is I've never tried these before, so I'm going to be trying these for the first time. So, let's see. Mmm. I'm not the type of person when I try something to be like, oh, let me try it. No. I'm going to full-on try it. Like, I need, like, a whole mouthful. Mm. They're really good. You know what they taste like? They taste like um like chow mein that you would get like at a Chinese food restaurant. And yeah, that's what they taste like. Just a little bit more <clears throat> To me they have the flavor of it. And the noodles are like, the noodles taste like, the actual noodle is like a, a cup of noodle noodle. Like that's almost what it reminds me of. And I have Diet Coke right here out of free. So I'm going to eat, explain the food, and then we'll get into, you know, gossiping, talking, you know, spilling the tea, whatever the fuck we got to do. Whatever we do, that's what we're going to do after I <laughs> do this. Because <laughs> y'all know what's up already. I hate that these noodles get so sticky. I really hate that. And I put cheese on these noodles, on the hot spicy noodles. I love them with cheese. Oh, and then I also have hard-boiled egg. So I love to eat the hot spicy noodles with hard-boiled egg. Hard boiled egg and cheese. But because the whole time I was making this, um, my brother called me and I was gossiping with my brother. And the noodles got a little bit cold. But they're not cold. I put them in like the oven and now they're a little bit hard, but it's okay. Fuck it. It still tastes good. And then I have some tomato here. Make sure I don't soup up my hair. I'm really enjoying this right now, okay, you guys? So, I know you guys want me to get into, you know, spilling the tea, talking my shit. 
<laughs> gossiping and y'all know what's up tanya's story If you already guessed what these are, then you're right. They're spring rolls. Let me try to see if I can get a close up for you. Spring rolls that I made myself and some peanut sauce. I was just, I, I eat this stuff like on the daily basis not as much but i eat this stuff like i love this kind of like i'll make spring rolls on the daily like any day i feel like eating them i'll make um the hot spicy noodles with cheese on the daily i don't know why he left that damn window open oh no i lost a shrimp Hmm. This is a bomb, guys. And you can make this all by yourself, too. You just get the hot spicy noodles. I got them at H Mart in Norwalk. I don't know if they'll have them, like, where you are. If not, just get them on Amazon. But the trick is, is only put one packet. So I made two noodles. Okay, decided to flip your hair. I don't know why I decided to flip my hair, but I flipped my hair. Okay, so. Ooh, spicy. So what I do is I make two packets, but I only put one packet of the chili. And that's what not, it doesn't make it so hot. Then also it has the cheese in it. And then you just um, eat one of the eggs and it'll cool you down a little bit. So these are just hard boiled eggs, regular hard boiled eggs. I think I'm playing with my hair because it is getting a little spicy, but I love it. I love the spice. You know us Mexicans. Mm. And my spring rolls, <clears throat> I just use lettuce, shrimp, and I made it really simple today because usually I'll put like, I'll put like avocado, I'll put carrots, I'll put um, zucchini um, or cucumber. You could put all of that in your spring rolls. You could put whatever the fuck you want in your spring rolls. I made it simple because I didn't want to do too much chewing on the channel and then also I just love them simple like that like this because there's so much going on here I just wanted like simple like a simple flavor and it's really good like this too simple mm. it tastes really fresh like have you never had a spring roll before it just tastes really fresh the noodles the noodles inside don't really have a lot of flavor it's more like i think spring rolls are more like texture it's more about the texture it's not about like the flavor really they do taste really fresh if you're not like if you don't want anything too greasy or too and so today 
I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do forever. And because I got another phone, I'm, gonna, I'm able to do this. And I'm really excited about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be reading comments, okay? And I've been wanting to do this forever because I love connecting with you guys. And I love, um, why does this keep coming out? See? Technical difficulties. So, we're going to be reading comments. We're going to be maybe talking some shit. If I see somebody, you know, talking shit to me. And my hair looks crazy. If I see somebody talking shit to me or if I see some somebody saying something stupid, I will address it because it's fun. <laughs> it's fucking fun. Like, it's not like, it's not like, sometimes I don't want to give haters recognition, but sometimes it's fun to fight with them because it's just like, it brings a little, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you know us as Latinas, you know, I don't like negativity. I don't want ne negativity around, but it's like. It's fun to ruffle some feathers, you know, on these motherfucking haters. Just like if you if you if you guys have watched my videos, watched my channel before, y'all know I like to ruffle feathers. Y'all know I like to pop off at the mouth. Like I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna censor myself, you know. Some people act surprised, like when I say shit and I'm like why are you surprised? Haven't you seen my channel? Have you not? If you haven't seen my channel yet, click out now and walk and go through the whole thing. Cause I've been the same way since the whole motherfucking thing. Okay, and sometimes I do say shit, and sometimes I threw. It's it's like it's not throwing shade. It's involuntary throwing shade. Like some people want to say because I said, oh, um, I don't like when people say, you know, show their food, or I don't like or, not show their food. Or like say oh here's a bite or when people say um oh, how are you guys doing like i didn't mean to throw shade at nobody i don't i didn't know nobody i don't know like people were saying oh this person does that this person does that i don't know i might not watch them that's probably why i don't know when i'm saying in particular to me me in particular when i watch mukbangs i don't like that like it's irritating to me when i watch mukbangs so if somebody does it when i'm watching mukbangs then I won't watch it because it's annoying. But anyways, that's me. You could do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Like, you're you. You hear my neighbors? So anyways, 15 minutes in and I still haven't talked about shit, really. <laughs> These noodles are fucking with me. They're just gonna keep on fucking with me. Fuck it, let's just fucking hot noodle challenge right now. Anyways, come on, let's go. Let's do this. What are we doing? Okay, Imelda Lopez. Shout out to Imelda Lopez. She says, oh my God, I love y'all relationship. This was, not, this was on my last mukbang for um, single de Mayo. She says, I love y'all relationship. Y'all are so funny, both of y'all. You're too beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, and he is so handsome. Oh, thank you so much. He gets so big headed when I tell people like, when I tell him, like, when I tell my man, oh, they said you're cute, they said you're handsome, they say you look, like, ludicrous, or blah, 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 he gets so, like, what, 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 and I'm, like, yeah, and he's, like, what, and I'm just, like, <sighs> she says, y'all are hashtag goals. <laughs> Um, I 
that one bitch, that's her name, says, never, never miss a video. Thank you, that one bitch. <laughs> that one bitch, what's up? That's a funny name. Okay. I love your channel. I've been on a diet for a while now. And every time I crave something, I go watch your videos and get my craving satisfied. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to keep it real. And I don't care if anybody disagrees with me or anybody, you know, finds it offensive. Like, this is my channel. And I'm going to say what I want to say. And I really personally don't like those kind of comments. You might like my channel. You might find me entertaining. But I'm just like, I don't care if you're on a diet. And I don't care, like, if you're here to satisfy your craving. Like, to me, it kind of annoys me. I'm just like, okay, like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like this is not the place for me to hear about your diet. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't like it. And that's me. I could feel that way if I want to. I want to fuck people up, but there's no one around to fuck up. Oh, I think she's quoting me. <laughs> Shout out to YouTube, my Maria, Maria Canini. You guys are the cutest couple. I need tacos now. <laughs> Kevin. Okay, shout out to Kevin S. Just found your channel. Hella glad I did. Subscribe within first five minutes. Watching, which I never do, but you seem like a real ass chola. <laughs> You seem like a real ass Jola. Um, can't wait to watch all your videos. That's what's up. Shout out to Kevin. Okay. Let's see. Someone said, okay, just me. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to like, kind of like find people that, um, I always see in my comments. I already know you guys. I always like make, make a point to comment back to you guys. Cause you, um, are always commenting on my videos, you guys like the first ones that always see you. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna try. I don't wanna be on my phone doing stuff when I'm supposed to be eating and all that boo shit. Let me put this right here. It's loading. <clears throat> why you bullshitting, phone? Tell me why you bullshitting. This is hard. <laughs> this is my favorite mukbanger, you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Let's go down to the comments. I'm going to try to go all the way down. So I could, um, get a hold of the people that always comment. Okay, Sierra Reyes. I want to shout out to Sierra Reyes. She says, your man is the seed is BTW. I love your videos. Thank you, Sierra. I'm not the only one who is literally crying at the nut story. <laughs> That's the shop, babe. Oh, 
Okay. Here's something that annoys me. <clears throat> and this seems like a video that's going to just be me, like, talking about how I'm annoyed all the time. Well, that's just me. Too bad. If you don't like it, you could leave. Okay. Um, a lot of people were talking about a lot, and I know there were probably not people that really cared about me, and I know you don't, I know you're subscribed to me, but you probably hate on me. Um, how long is this video? I know you're probably subscribed to me, and a lot of, not a lot of, I don't know why I say a lot of, but some people that are subscribed to me, you know, they want to pick on me for some reason, they don't like me, they're haters, and they want to nitpick at something and act like, I was a subscriber, I really loved you, like, I really liked you, but you're a bitch, and you're this and you're that. And they want to act like they really cared about me, when I know you didn't, and I know you're fake, you know what I mean? But a lot of people were talking about, like, how, um, in my last mukbang, how I was, like, towards my man or whatever. Okay, first of all, there, I was a little bit off because we literally had, like, literally, like, 15, 20 minutes to do the video because the kids were getting out of school. So, we had to hurry up and do it. So, my man walked in the door. I'm like, hurry, hurry, we got to go get tacos. He's like, all right, let's go. But then, when we came home, it was super hot in here. So, we were so hot and we couldn't have the air conditioner on because the air conditioner makes, like, a weird noise. Like, it's like, ee! And I'm just like... Fuck, we can't have the air conditioner on. So we were super hot. And we were in a hurry. And then I was like, someone was like, oh, you are you were like regulating his tacos or whatever. Okay, let me tell you what. Let me tell you something. If y'all know me, if y'all been watching me for a long time, my man don't like onions. And if he does eat onions, his stomach will hurt all day. So my, I love onions. If y'all know me, I love onions. And I love onion rings. I love all that. So... I had onions on all my tacos, so I separated them. I had onions on my tacos, and he and the only things he eats is, is carne asada. Like, he doesn't like lengua or nothing like that, so I don't know. Like, he just started eating mine, and I'm like, dude, like, there's onions. Like, I'm going to try to tell him, like, there's onions on my tacos, and you don't like lengua. But, no. He still ate some of mine. I'm just like, oh. And he had, like, I got him, like, 12 tacos. <laughs> And he had like 12 tacos right there. But anyway, so back to shouting people out. Uh, you make me happy. Is Isabel C. I'm so glad I can make you happy. You make me happy as well. You all make me happy. Um, let's see. Caleb Brown says they are fucking cute. <laughs> Oh, someone talk, wants to, okay, someone wants us, Paige Marie, Paige Marie, uh. wants us to talk about us losing our virginities. And I was talking to my man yesterday about the, the topic, and he was like, oh, why don't, why, you know, because my man has told me about his first time already, but I never told him mine, and I don't want to, <laughs> like, it's so embarrassing, like, I don't want to tell my man that, like, I don't feel like that's appropriate to talk about with you, you know, your man, your significant other. Like, I just don't see me. I don't see me and him right here talking about our first time. Like, for me, no. It's like... I just don't want to talk about that with him. Maybe I'll talk about it now. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. My first time, because he's not here, so I'm able to talk freely. I don't feel like I would be able to talk. I don't know. I think I would just feel some type of way sitting next to him, you know, telling him my first time. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't get back. Okay, let me tell you real quick. My first time, which coincidentally, I was 16 and it was with somebody that he knew. 
and he's talked shit about before and he said he didn't like them and blah 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 this was back when they were younger uh, it wasn't his friend. It was just like I guess one one of a guy that he doesn't like. Like he heard about him and he heard he was a punk ass or whatever. But I was young. I was sixteen years old. So I was sixteen years old, and I was scared. Um, but I was also drunk. It's not okay. Like it's not okay. But fuck it. Do whatever you. I mean, don't do whatever you want, but. Do it safely. And it's okay. It's normal to experience life. Let me just tell you right now. Like, it's okay to experience things and have a story to tell and be like, you know what? Damn, like, that was crazy. You know, like, it's cool. It's cool to have a story to tell, even though it wasn't perfect, even though it wasn't, you know, a fairy tale or the way I wanted it or who I wanted it to be. It happened and. <laughs> it's a story to tell, you know, but it was, you know, with another guy. I think he was like a year or two older than me, and I don't really know how to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know why, like, I'm shy about it, but it was in one of his friend's rooms, and um, it happened, and I was like a little bit buzzed. He was buzzed. And it happened. And after, I mean, and it hurt. It hurt, you know, it hurt. I was embarrassed. It hurt. And, um, yeah, I guess what else could I say? <laughs> what else could I say to add to it, you know? It happened. But I was 16 years old. <clears throat> so I guess leading up to it, I'll get back into it because I kind of know like how to go into it now. So leading up to it, um, I was 16 and I had told my mom, really we were planning to kick it with these guys, me and my friend. And I told my mom that we were going to go to, to her house and we were going to be there. Um, but really, on the way to her house, we were going to go stop to kick it with these guys. So we never ended up getting to my friend's house. We we went to this, this guy where he lived, his apartment complex. Uh. We ended up kicking it with him, smoking, drinking, kicking it all night. Listening to music, vibing, summer nights, ain't nothing like them summer nights, you know, that type of vibe. And, you know, we had little Rob playing in the background. Talking, smoking, drinking, vibing. And this dude, he was cute. Okay, like, he was cute, but come to find out he was a hoe and luckily we used protection because I wasn't going to do it like I was drunk whatever but I was like protection is key so <laughs> we um we used protection but we did it in his in like one of the homie like the homie's house we were there kicking it and everyone went to sleep and we did <laughs> okay that's it i'm excited about this more this is so awkward and no one's even here <gasps> oh my god
Okay, you guys. Well, even though this book bomb didn't have, like, a story to tell or, like, probably any meaning... But at least I got some people shouted out. Let me shout out a few more people before I go. Just to let you guys know I love you. And to show you that um, thank you for the support. And thank you for the comments. I read every one of my comments. Even, honestly, even if I don't reply, I read them. Um, let's go to my Jersey Mike's video. That song is in my head. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. I don't really care if you cry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucking funny. This video has this video right now has no absolute no pace it's going. Okay. Um Lisa Chayan. Um you shared with me a story of how you used to get bullied and stuff like that so I, I want to shout you out and tell you you got this girl and just keep going keep pushing um nicole alexandra 13 reasons why i'm gonna kick your ass <laughs> she's quoting me hey what's up nicole alexandra i want to give a shout out to my friend mo mo you know who you are um, Shavana smiles. I love it when you two do a mukbang together. Thank you so much. I love when we do mukbangs together too. I feel like really comfortable with my man. He makes me just feel like more at ease. I think that's why I kind of feel like weird today that he's not here. Like I really love when he's here with me. Uh, hello Vato and Vata. Chunky, your hair looks amazing. It always does. But it's extra nice today. And that was from Purple M29. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, also my friend Sin Sin C I N D E E. Girl, I love you. Who else? Victoria King, Victoria King, my girl Chunky, and her amazing amor. I adore the two of you. More videos together, yes, please. God bless you both. We will be having lots of more videos together. But remember, this is the Chunky show, so, you know. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just keep it positive because I was gonna like say some like um, shit talk shit to people but um, You know what fuck it. I'm gonna talk shit to this person get in games Okay, this person always comments on my videos and he says what does your man do for a living? He looks like a fucking loser <laughs> And um, People were talking shit to him. So let's let's shout out to the people that were talking shit to him um, L Lemons Sunset says, get in games. I believe he is a tattoo artist. A loser is someone that doesn't have a job. He has one. Thank you so much. And yes, my man is a tattoo artist. He also goes to college. He's in auto mechanics and he does work on cars and stuff like that. So, <laughs> um, someone also says, get in games. Uh, get your judgmental ass out of here. And that's Corey Taylor. Thank you, Corey Taylor. Um, get in games. Just, just waiting on Chunky to fucking drag your ass. <laughs> we drag. Uh, I think her name is Kate. Kate C E Y D I. And then E. Not all together, but the E is separate. So I'm not sure how to say your name, but you know what's up, girl. So, first of all, get in games. I want to let you know that you're the fucking biggest loser. Uh, you probably don't have a job because you have the time to watch my videos and to actually comment on every one of my videos some stupid shit. So, I'm pretty sure you're at home uh, not doing shit without a job and you're the loser and you're reflecting it on my man because you're probably jealous of him because you look like a piece of shit. Um, also, you probably smell like shit as well because you probably don't take a bath because you're probably just too busy fucking on YouTube talking shit to people. 
uh, you don't get paid for commenting and saying shit. So I know you ain't getting paid for this shit. I'm getting paid for this shit. So you're a fucking loser. Um, what else? You're probably, yeah, you're probably a fucking loser. And if you do have a job, you're probably not making that much because for you to, you're probably ugly as well. So you're probably ugly. You probably have, maybe have a job and you're probably not making that much because you're too busy and up, up other people's asses talking shit. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I want to shout him out because him or her or whoever the fuck it is, really, it doesn't matter. I wish you would say it to my face because I'll probably fuck you up. And so will my man. So, yeah. Brittany, wait. I don't know. I don't care what everyone thinks of Chunky. I love her. Yes, Brittany. Yes, Brittany. Um, <laughs> I love you, Brittany. Wait. Wait. This is weird, but could you eat some noodles? I sure am, girl. And take big bites while you eat it. Girl, girl, are you a psychic? I think there's some psychics on my channel because we got a girl that just knew that I was going to drag that foo. And now we got a girl knowing that I was going to eat noodles and take big... Girl, this is getting weird. This is getting really weird. I don't know what it is about noodles. Laugh out loud. I, I didn't even watch watch shit like this till I came by Chunky's channel. I pop everybody's cherry. I love doing it too. And I'm like, what is this? But I don't like watching. I'm sorry, I pressed something. What the hell is going on? But I, uh, uh, Chunky, oh, wait, wait. Where was I? I got too excited. Uh, I don't know what it, about noodles. I fell out. Didn't even watch this shit till I came across Chunky's channel. And I'm like, what is this? But I don't like watching just anybody eat. Only Chunky, that's out loud. And of course, her man. Girl, you better back up on my man. <laughs> but since you gave me so many compliments, I'll let it slide. Um, what's up, girl? She's so high. She's so high. What's up? I'm eating noodles just for you. I guess this is a dedication to she's so high because she knew I was about to eat noodles and she knew I was about to take a big old bite and she loves to watch me eat. So this is just for you. Okay. I keep burping. I don't know why. Um, oh, somebody named Dorian, and coincidentally, that's my name. I'm a fool from, I'm a fool from NYC, represent, and yo, I was dead at two, at, at uh, 2506, he was looking for them, ha ha ha, left him ass off, he's funny as fuck, on the low. Okay, now it's on the high, because I'm blasting you. <laughs> I love the videos with your husband. These girls need to get up off my husband. Here's Mo. Mo, what's up? You're right here, girl. Have you heard? Ha, have you had Tito's sandwiches before? Uh, is that an Almonte? I don't know. I have. I don't know. I don't think I've had them before. But you know, I have to get together with you, Mo, because I know you live by me. <laughs> okay. Someone says, "Oh, John Gomez says this fat bitch can't chew with her mouth closed and." Breathe through her nose. Thank you for noticing, John Gomez. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to do what I do. Your vato is involving, in, involving, he's becoming more comfortable in front of the camera. He used to be a lot more quiet. You guys are, yeah, my, my vato is becoming a lot more, um, more, comfortable in front of the camera he's like a really introvert person and i kind of like i'm like a kind of turned up person i kind of like come on let's get this going and shit like that but you know it's kind of like it balances out because i'm a little crazy and he's a little quiet and like a little bit more introvert and stuff like that so it balances out us out um but i'm gonna let you guys go this video is probably gonna be really long 38 minutes um i love you guys thanks you thank you for continuing to support me and yeah i'm so fucking full i am so fucking full like i i thought that i was gonna finish all this i really did and i hope you guys don't mind that i didn't finish everything because i love to see like mukbangers just finish all of their food and even like the plate like if somebody could do that for me just tag me in the video and i would love to see that but i love you guys <laughs> stay chunky because chunky is beautiful peace out i'll be back soon